Hospital. Uh, we are located uh, along Tomboya Street at the junction of Latema Road. So uh, in one of the most easily identifiable uh, spots in the country, which is Audion Cinema. And when I say Audion Cinema, it probably will mean that some people enjoyed it as a cinema experience. And now it's a world-class hospital. So we are happy to be in this part of Nairobi. We are completely paperless, and so we have embraced technology that can be able to improve turnaround time for the patients when they come to see us, and they can guarantee that their medical records are stored and safe and can be reproducible when they see uh, another physician. We have also um, invested in um, state-of-the-art technology uh, for diagnosis. Uh, never before seen, we are the only CT scan in a radius of about a kilometer within CBD, and it's a 32 slice world class. So we are very happy that uh, we can be able to provide uh, services only previously known to be found in uh, other distant places, smack in the middle of town. We have a myriad of services that can serve literally anyone walking um, into town. We're also excited that we are actually at the confluence of majority of uh, public transport system. So if you're coming from Kiambu, if you're coming from Narok, if you're coming from uh, Moranga and you have a paper in your hand written CT scan, look no further. I mean, all you need to do is just climb the stair, have your CT scan, turnaround time is very quick. Within one and a half hours, you have a proper report on a 32 slice CT scan that will be able to guide your clinician or anyone else who is seeing you to make a good decision that will help, hopefully help you get better as fast as possible. Welcome, how are you feeling today? Um, um, after this kind of surgery, there's always um, a little bit of pain, as we had said. Maybe hearing does not come back 100% in the initial, but I'm glad that you're already noticing a big difference between how you're he hearing before and how you're hearing now. So allow me to just wash my hands and then we take a look. <clears throat> if anyone has ever wondered how a world-class ENT clinic looks like, this is exactly how it does. So we have a headlight that I put on and be able to evaluate um, or examine a patient when I switch it on. And we have a camera that is connected to what is called a light source. And we have three kinds of endoscopes. One is a nasal endoscope, the other one is an ear endoscope, and the other one is a throat or, la or a larynx endoscope. These help us to give greater um, detail to, a, uh, to, to the examination that we give. We're going to compare what it was looking like before and how it looks now after the surgery which we did about four weeks ago so just relax this will not hurt shake it easy clearly it's healing very well that is the external ear canal and as you go inside you can see she's also not in pain she's not uncomfortable and that is the healed perfect eardrum here there's no peeping in we usually just um, observe we record um, the findings of the ear and uh, or the nose or the throat and we can be able to involve you in the care that you receive. And because you have an image of the disease that is affecting you, then you're better able to also evaluate how your treatment is going and when you are recovered or not, be it medical treatment or surgical treatment. We're also very fortunate to be able to have um, supportive services. So for example, if you talk about uh, sinus conditions that uh, require my examination into the endoscope, and I feel we need some further investigation, all you'll do is just walk a couple of meters within our facility, have your CT scan done, we'll put it up into our system, we'll be able to evaluate and we'll make a key decision um, that will hopefully save you time and money in terms of uh, recovery and getting back to what you're supposed to be doing at a reasonable cost. So we are very reasonable and uh, we are excited uh, for you to try us out. We are also happy to be part and parcel of a lot of corporate insurance panels that you can be able to um, utilize for your services when you come to visit us. Welcome back into Doctor's Practice to Copper Hill Park Hotel. Eh, to mwangia mingi. But what you do a peleke nyuma kidogo, tu see nyuma vile lakini tonge tu kidogo in terms of flu vaccine. Okay, sir. Flu vaccine, it, it has been rolled uh, out in Kenya. Uh, it was rolled some mm. time back. Mm. So it's an, a vaccine that is given annually. Mm. Uh, uh, Dr. Homi at, at, at a cover. So at, once at, a year? Yeah, once a year. From and then uh, in a cover, mostly children from uh, six months onwards. Right. Older than six months. 
alafu uh, kuna high risk groups so high risk groups ni kama elderly below ah, above 65 years right. of age right. tunajua so, the immunities is now slumping yeah. inaendelea kudidimia yeah. yeah. now immunity bado it's still learning so we need to to boost, to, to boost. okay so we, we, we yeah. need it because tunahitaji yeah tunahitaji because now of the do we really need it dr, dr. okay there, there might be a role for example in countries ambao huwa na safari like in the west who have seasonal variations wako na winter and they have spikes mm. years of flu they are really useful in some of those countries in our report a significant number of people annually ambaye hazingumziwi much more than even what has affected them in terms mm. of covid having said what? that every year uh, the pharmaceutical the pharma manufacturers who are work on the influenza vaccine because it's a common cause here yeah? easy uh, non common cold that can put you down in akupatia fever unaweza kuwa na uh, time from work or 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 uh, school for almost 10 to 14 days mm. because of that na hizo ndizo dr ekesa anazungumzia ambazo haziko kwa hiyo kepi vaccine umesikia mtu amesema i got a flu shot now ukupata hiyo flu shot which ranges from anywhere between 1500 and 3000 of course iko na a barrier to entry because it's a bit expensive for any other for the ordinary mwananchi but if you can get it it will not prevent kupata homa but certainly if you get that variant itakuwa much less so utakuwa na less downtime na obviously utakuwa more productive the other thing is lazima uwe ukipata at least on an annual basis Wow, wow. Yeah, because what they do is they work with the vaccine uh, trajectory on ona. Ni, ni, ni virus gani this year na ni chayake itakuwe me progress vipi na ndiyo italeta a, a flu season ama like a min, mini epidemic ya imu waka. So and that's so what you work with. Unasema, kama say, that's what also Dr. Rekona said in terms mm. of... Uh, do we need it? Eh, 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 Gava Baro Jasema, hakuna yo program bado, free. Right. The, there is influenza one ambaye iko in the children ambaye inapewa under kepi for a natural and influenza i think it's i'm not sure which variant of influenza it is that is common and it's under the uh, covered by government under okay. the kenya expanded program but here by na cause the the flus uh, seasonal flus ya uh, kawaida that on your on your own lazima ujilipia and it's not insured then hiyo sasa utajisort zuzu na ukumbuka africa homa si ugonjwa si ugonjwa sasa unaweza imagine Unaona umepatiwa sick of 6 uh, 7 to 14 days yeah. pia una lazima calculate your macro of the financial implication ya yeah, kutokuwa kazini for those 7 to 14 days lakini sasa angalia tena on the flip side your risk of kuleta na kuambukiza watu wengi ili ya watu wengi pia waende wa, wa, wa on sick of mm. so kuna a little bit of a juggle flu mm. vaccine yenyewe is not insured kama i think it's more the affinity for it ni wale wenye wako middle class mm. ndio ndio wanapenda sana pia wale wenye uh, unaona maybe their jobs are of um, executive roles kuna wale wenye their, 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 their position really in the in the society is also yeah. highly appreciated it's it's advice that you you take like any Sana sana utaona tu mkenya akiendelea hiyo mm. kulipa hiyo. But itakuwa affectaje? Ita affect insurance aje? Ate. Serikali ikisema okay, nimesikia wahome na wakesa kisema ah. eh, kuna eh, kumbe hizo ni numbers. Eh, haya basi sisi kama serikali tumesema tuna tunapeana. Ita ita affectaje insurance. So can you imagine yeah. the overflow of positivity inaweza kwa kwa insurance? Kwanza complications za hizo um, URTIs zinaleta sasa tonsillitis surgeries nini nini all those things zina, zina inflate the costs the the the, 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 the claim costs sasa kama kuna hivyo uh, serikali inaweza leta hizi vaccines at massive scale utapata sasa the costs or the 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 the, the, the claims burden in a reduce significantly uh -huh. because they will not be as extreme the costs for actually management mm iki activate watu wajijue like vile wamesema ukiona uko na any kind of symptoms flu like symptoms uh, can you bani hiyo pia inasaidia because it reduces the exposure sure. kuna wale who react very differently to this different kind of flus kuna wale it extend to um, uh, it requires now more expensive antibiotics etc mm. so tukiaza kuzikab at vaccine level to the point where to say kama serikali hayezi issue it at um, 100% can they subsidize mm ili watu waanze kuipata so I'm, I'm yet to really um, understand the african strategy ya uh, coronavirus uh, vaccine uh, strategy lakini inaonekana at a global scale it will be the best interest of everyone to get it and uh, freely so the more we can get flu shots the better um, 
for the whole industry. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Now, Jimmy, labda niongeze, niseme, um, on a public health perspective, actually, it is in the best interest of government to have as many people in its population vaccinated for the flu. Kusababu vile, adia nasema, ukiangalia the cost-benefit analysis on a large, on a larger, yeah, scale. larger scale. The time loss from work, the complications. Juni cost pia. The cost pia. Zina add up. Na unajua e-cost inalipwa na mtu. At the end of the day, ata kama sio gava, kuna mtu analipa. Kuna harambe flani itapigiwa maali. Kuna mpesa flani mutatumiwa. Kuna WhatsApp group flani itafunguliwa. Unaona? Iyo, hizo surgery za rheumatic heart, heart disease. They, they are not very, they are not, they are they're not, not cheap. cheap yes. Now, ukizi expand to a macro scale, then you need to see, you begin to see that uh, actually there's more benefit vaccinating a larger population. Na hata tuneza angalia, unajua, in terms of when we talk about immunization, we talk about herd immunity. Yes. You need to have a certain uh, proportion of a population vaccinated for you to say, population sasa yetu imekuwa covered. Tukona herd, Una, uneza angalia ka herd ya ngombe. Kuna 85% of the herd Bako is covered. Ka. Sasa hawa you know, outliers wako oh. inje, they, they actually fall under the umbrella because of the herd immunity. Oh, oh but I see. Wakisikia herd, wanasikia, wanafikia ni ngumu. Ah, sio ngumu, hapana. Ni ile umbrella ya herd. Oh, Unajua ngombe like zikikuwa kwa herd, yeah. zina protect yana, the weaker yeah. ones. Kuliza, siu, yes, Ooh. yes. So it's important, I think, <laughs> even as we talk, uh, for us even to see how government can look into uh, strategies and programs that could expand he coverage. It's m actually more cost effective to immunize these people. So to Nezahanza the under fives, five years and below, not the over 65s, to say, let's, mm. let's start with this yes. block and then move in pole pole. pole pole. And I know donors will come in as but they see the initiative. So I want to address about the high risk groups. So the high risk groups to kona madaktari, au unajua wana anjo na pata watoto wakiwa outpatient department. Wende unafungua mdomo hivi unangalia unasema naona tonsil ilikuwa in, in, eh. infected kuna sports kwa hivyo hiyo harakati ya ku, kuangalia mdomo we nayo una na uko kwa risk ya kupata the infection so hao wanahitaji the uh, flu vaccination mm. uh, wengine wenye wanahitaji ni wale ambao kuna the uh, chronic lung diseases kama asthma wengine uh, wetu COPD chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disease so hao pia wanahitaji wapate the vaccine just to no protect problem. them because wakisha but a flu progress to yes. the severe form ni very easy. Very, ni very, very easy. Alafu, wakifika huko ni difficult ni, to manage. Oh, us. oh, always you apata. Kabisa. Yeah. Daktari, two things. Kuna kitu nisema muibu sana about the social, uh, the social impact. Yeah. Uh, social and even intellectual. Sema uji ama kama, kama mtibu saizi, hata kuwa runner, Correct. hata kuwa engineer vitu kama hizo. Mm -hmm. Gusia tu. Alafu ya mwisho, um, uh, pure guzi ambia, you need to turn select me. Kuna tunia watu ringia sama mala mi si itaki yo kitu juu ndashindo kukula, sita kwa na test nyama vipoa. True? True. So anyway, uh, ukiangalia ndani ya mdomo kuna kitu hang. Uh -huh. Sisi wata kama tumiona kakatu na hako kakitu kana <laughs> hivi. Hako kana itua uvula ama kilimi. Uh -huh. Na kuna communities wote, yani of uh, different uh, kinds in mm. Kenya ambao wana believe kukata hiyo kitu. Okay. So watu wanasema ah mtu huyu kof ana kohoa kohoa mahoma ambazo aziishi juu ya hii kilimi acha tuende tuikate we advise don't do, do not it. Cut. on the side ah. because it's it's a normal part of the the okay. throat ambaye haina shida na okay. i, I let you go on on the side of those things kuna vitu ambazo zina grow zinaitwa tonsils sisi sote tuko nazo unless zimetolewa hizo tonsils huwa zinasaidia sana kwa kusaidia kwa hiyo process ya immunity mpaka wakati kama wa two and a half, three years, after which hazina uo umuhimu sana. Okay. Sasa kuna wale wengine wetu wako na mabakteria kwa mdomo wao, unawa predispose kupata recurrent episodes ya tonsillitis. Oh. And this, the common age ni age, early age group ya watoto kuenda shule unona, between the ages of three and eight. So sisi wote kama wazazi, labda uko hata na watu wi watano la, ama watatu, lakini kuna moja, Every time unafungua shule, anaanza kupata tonsillitis. Yeah. The symptoms huwa ni uchungu wa kumeza, yeah. 
fever uh, ukiangalia ndani sasa vile daktari Ekesa ameona unaangalia hizo tonsu zimevimba ziko red na pia ziko na hizo white spots ambao ni usawa ume develop hiyo ndiyo tunasema kama huyo mtoto anapata more than five episodes in a year Chomua. lazima tuzichomoe it's actually the commonest op, um, operation in children tonsillectomy ama kuzitoa. So na those are the things we are talking about. Na hizo tonsils pia go hand in hand na vitu in children between the ages of 1 and 7. I mean about 3 and 7 zinaitwa adenoids. Adenoids grow nyuma ya mapua. Na ukiona mtoi wa hiyo age ambaye anangorota sio kawaida. Mtoi wako kama ana, 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 kama amengorota na akingorota na ni kama anashuka na kupotezewa eh. hewa ni lazima aweze kuonekana because kama kuna hizo adenoids inamaanisha haingizi hewa ya kutosha kwa kichwa if he's not getting enough oxygen he's not resting properly and his heart is overworking mm. and that is what i was talking about school going children so mtu mwalimu anasema aka katoi kana ka sharp lakini kana nikasumbua kwa nini kana sumbua because the guy has not rested ni kama wewe kama hujakuwa ukilala eh, una jumps you know how you can be if you yeah. not slept uh. through three days in a row so imagine that is how that child is operating so over time is branded an intelligent sumbua nini kumbe hakalali ha, as he's continuing to operate like that his heart is fatiguing and is growing bigger he's again heart disease kana choka kana gain weight so all these things tie in together to be able to evaluate these children early be able to deal with them when they are still plastic yeah. and reversible now to improve in fact umejibu swali yangu ya pili so thanks simon pharmacist thank you very much a day Dr. Home, Dr. Ekesa, na murudi tena mnasiupa tia watu manda. And you are Thomas Sandy sana for watching us. Hapa ni Hill Park Hotel. He show inaitwa Doctor's Practice. Mimi naitwa Jimmy. Tuna next week.